What if I tell you that you are allowed to use calculator in the Jamba examination hall? And also, what if I tell you that you are not allowed to take calculator into the Jamba examination hall? But you will be allowed to use the embedded calculator on the computer that will be provided for you for the examination. So, how do you use this calculator? And how do you prepare to use this calculator? And what are other things you need to know about using calculator for calculation in the Jamba examination hall? Exactly what I want to discuss with you in this video. So stay with me. Before I proceed on this channel, we make videos like this. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can receive notification whenever we upload another video. If you want to know if calculator is allowed in the Jamba examination hall or not, like I said earlier, you're not allowed to take calculator into the Jamba examination hall, or there will be calculator on the system that you're going to use for the examination. But another question that always come up uh, after this kind of question is that the calculator that will be that will be on the computer, will it be scientific or non-scientific calculator? The calculator that is available for you on this or on the computer for the examination, it is not scientific. Because this calculator is not scientific, that is what we take into the first thing you need to do while preparing to use this calculator. You know now that the, the calculator that I've prepared for you to use for the examination is not scientific. So I don't see any reason why any candidate will be preparing for jam examination with scientific calculator. If you have already been preparing for the examination with scientific calculator, I think it's high time you stop that. I will advise you for exactly the kind of calculator you should be preparing with for the examination is, you know, on your phone, there is calculator. So a calculator on most of the smartphone can be switched to either scientific or the normal calculator. You see the normal part of that calculator on your phone, it's suitable enough for you to use for the preparation of, for jam examination. Now, another thing you have to know, which is very important, is that while preparing for jam examination, it's very important you try to prepare to solve most of the question without using the calculator, especially the question that are solvable without using calculator. The reason why I, I said this is that the calculator that will provide for you, you have to, to use your mouse on it for you to like press whatever you want to press. And most of the time, uh, going to calculator, come back to the page of the examination and all of that, we, in most cases, be wasting your time. Try to learn how to solve calculations, which can actually be solved without using calculator. Also, I want you to know most of the questions that we will be given uh, in physics, uh, chemistry, and mathematics are the questions that are not necessarily need scientific calculator, or maybe we might not even need calculator at all. You have to be smart enough while preparing for the examination to make sure you prepare to answer most of the question without using calculator so that you can use your time judiciously. So apart from that, another thing you need to know, which is also very important, is that some of calculation values that will not be given in uh, the JAMA examination hall. So what I'm trying to say is that it is very important for you to know some of the, this uh, value uh, often, like uh, a cos 30, sine 30, sine 60, all these important value that you should know. So it's very important for you to take note of this while you're preparing for your examination, especially mathematics and physics. The next thing is for us to talk about how are you going to use this calculator. Uh, sorry, there is something I actually forgot to say earlier. Some people asked me if they would be allowed to take a sheet of paper into the damn examination hall for calculations you will not be allowed to take any sheet of paper in for for calculations but when you are going to the examination hall or while you're already seated for the examination you'll be provided with a sheet of paper for you to do whatever calculation you want to do and you must submit that sheet of paper when you're done with the exam so without any further delay let me take you through how you're going to make use of the calculator this is how the calculator looks like so uh it's it, the look might actually not be like this but the function will not be more than this in this function, CE mix uh, clear. Uh, for instance, if I have type, if I have click on something like uh, probably 70, 7, 8, 9, like this, if I want to clear all, I click on this C, CE. So, but if I want to, maybe I have type something like that, I want to clear one by one, I'll click on this thing. I have my cursor on. One, two, three. You, you understand? So, uh, that's it. So for, for, for the science here, I know I, I know very well you know what percentage means, you know what square root means. So for instance, you want to find square root of anything. If you say, for instance, 144, uh, 144 now, what's the square root of 144? is 12. This one is for square root of anything. So maybe if you want to find the square root of 6, if you, so when you press 6, you say, you press this, then it will give you, let's see, so whatever anything, uh, square. So this one is 1 over whatever you want to press also. 
So when you press uh, uh, whatever you like nine now, one on over nine, one on over nine, this is what is one on over nine? This is uh, this is it. So those are the functions. So how are you going to make use of the calculator? Now uh, it 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 depends on probably the window or probably the software. I don't know. But there are some system that will allow you to type whatever number you want to type using the numeric key on the keypad. For instance, now if I want to type 123 multiplied by 2, I can say 123 multiplied by, uh, multiply by, multiply is, this is the multiply, multiplication sign. But for me to place this multiplication sign, I will hold shift plus hit key. Multi, multiply by, uh, let me say 4. I will now press equal to, uh, the, the uh, equal to sign on the keypad. See, giving me 492. So uh, this uh, method of using the calculator is always the easiest. That is, if you're conversant with how to use the computer very well. Alternatively, you can either make use of the mouse to press whatever you want to press, or you make use of the touchpad. So if you want to make use of the mouse, for instance, having hold your mouse like this, if you don't know how to hold mouse, you can check the video I made on how to use computer for that examination. So I, where I teach how you can make use of the mouse. So if you want to hold the mouse, you hold it like this, like I hold it, you can see, you can see, I explained it in the video, you can check. So, but now you have your, this, your hand, you have it on the left click, you have it on the left click. So is the left click that you will be pressing on the number here. If you want to press, let me say I want to press 145. One, you see, 45, I'll press the left key, 444. Four, four. I'll press the left key for five, for five. So if you are making use of the mouse, that is how you make use of the mouse for whatever, uh, anything you want to press on the calculator. For you to make use of the touchpad, it's also like you're using the mouse. This is the left, this, um, my system, uh, touchpad is not well divided, but this is where the, le uh, the left click is, this is where the right click is. So the same way you are going to press on the mouse. So when you, this is how you move your cursor. You move your cursor uh, scrolling the touchpad like this. The same way you move your cursor uh, sc uh, scrolling the mouse like this. So you, 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 you take your cursor to whatever anything you want to press. For instance, let me say I want to press 7. Having have my cursor on 7, I will just press the right right click this is how to use the keypad uh the keypad or the mouse or the uh touchpad for the calculator so and i think that is what actually you need i made a video where i shown how to make use of the computer fully for damp examination so you can find that in the description box below don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not and don't forget to like and share this video to other people that might be in need see you in another interesting video bye for now